uh, today is uh, we'll talk about this lecture is a uh, lecture 21. Now I will continue to talk about uh, programming with grid free. The topic for this lecture is uh, we will build an application based on the three tier framework. The last time I program a, a system, a, failed, a simple failed transmission system that's based on the P2P framework. Another important uh, application or scenario, application scenario for uh, the peer, when we program with peer, is a N tier framework. So this time I'll program another application based on the three tier framework. And uh, in the, one of the previous classes, I, I, pre I program online, uh, the first, maybe the first one I remember, I program a TNCS system. You must remember that, right? So, but TNCS system is not good enough because the server is a terminal. Server cannot, it's possible for server cannot process uh, the sufficient, uh, cannot process the incoming uh, request, incoming notification, right? Because only one single node, one only one computer is available to process all the incoming messages. It's so difficult when the number of users is large and when the number of messages is huge. So we have to design a scalable system. Uh, I think the NTS system is one of the typical example of a scalar distributed system. So let us program such a system for this in this class. Uh, so I, we need to make some changes uh, to the previous project TNCS to convert it from the unscalable one to a scalable one. Now, because we have limited time, so I just program a three tier architecture. I think uh, if you have time, I think you can use this system, use the example in this class to program uh, any tier, any tier system. Okay, let us begin. Here, let us open this project. We can follow, uh, close this calls we programmed before. Okay, let us follow this one. Uh, we need to get an example, right? When we program uh, application using grid free, because grid free is a uh, mm, uh, is a design pat. We can also call it a design pattern based system. In such a system, uh, we we I know. So we not only have a lot of uh, distributed APIs, but also have uh, the design patterns that help us to speed up the system development. So we need to first get the example of what the three tier system looks like, right? So here, this example, this example, of three tier system. This is the example, right? So for this time, we need to create another system. So here I create a package first. Uh, this is a three tier. Um, okay, we call it a um, e-commerce, e-com. That's good. Okay, from you come from oh three tier three cannot be the first uh, uh be, cannot be the first uh alphabet for the package name. So maybe we can use this one three tier. Okay, three tier e comma from. Okay, this is from, and uh, we also need to create, 
from other packages, for example, the coordinator, or maybe we call it the business logic. Business logic is the middle tier. What else? Another one is the DB. DB actually is a back end in the third tier. Next, we can we need to define some messages. So first, we uh, it's it's possible for us to reuse some messages from the TNCS. Okay, there's some message here. Uh, actually, we can use some messages. These messages we can use the please order the request and uh, response. For example, this one this is about notification. This is notification. Okay, we can reuse it. So we don't need to now. Uh, we do not need to implement such a notification anymore. But we also need to. Um, okay, let me think about that. Whether we need to redesign some other message or not. I think I don't think so. I I think we can. It, it's possible for us to reuse these messages. Uh, we can transmit the message from the client to the peer, and then the peer can forward the same message to the back end. So maybe this time we do not need to implement the message. Okay, let us start from the client. The client should be the same. Maybe, okay, not this one. TNCS, right? TNCS, we provide program such a code before. TNCS. Okay, this time we just make a, we can reuse such a system. Uh, I'm not sure whether we can reuse it. Okay, not bad. It doesn't matter. We can make a copy. Copy this call. Copy this call. And. Uh, Okay, we can see I want I just to make a copy for this call. But one issue is that the, maybe the message, the IP address, do you remember the IP address? Maybe this time uh, the IP address should be the local. Okay, but this one maybe I need to change because now we have two servers, right? The first server is located um, three tier config. The two server is located in uh, middle, middle tier. The another server is uh, located at the back end tier, right? So we need to uh, define Define the IP address middle tier middle tier IP IP is the same. The port is different. Okay, next. Back in tier. IP address is same. And uh, the pod should be different. Okay. 
So here, this is the clan, right? Clan is a, we do not need to change clan, but we just need to change the IP address. Okay, imported this new config. It's a middle tier, right? The, the clan should interact with the middle tier. Okay, we do not need to change anything, I think. Okay. Remove this line. Reader. This IP address should be changed. Middle tier. That's done. So we it save a lot of uh, a lot of effort for us to program because we just make a copy. So the client because client we do not need to the client all the code at client is the same. So we just change the uh, the IP address. So that we want to do here. Okay, next, what about the middle tier? Middle tier is different. So we need to spend some effort on the middle on the middle tier, the peer, right? We need to program with peer this time. So if you have no idea how to do that, just follow this uh, example. This example, right? This is the from, this is the this middle tier. We start from here. This is the middle tier, business logic. Start. Okay. Uh, change the name. Business logic. What else? Uh, now we need to create this code. Okay, this way. Business logic. So we need to create this one, right? Coordinator dispatcher. Uh, we to follow this structure to, to create our code. Business logic dispatcher. Here, uh, um, okay, I got another idea. Maybe we can reuse this code. Reuse this code. This is uh, another idea. Maybe save a lot of, save us a lot of time. Do you know, remember this one? We have the server, right? We have the server. Okay, 
So this time we just uh, maybe we do not need to create this code. Can remove this one and oh, no, I'm sorry. And I what I'm trying to do here is I want to uh, reuse this code because this code. Uh, try to process the incoming merchandise requests, the incoming place order notification, all the messages. Uh, we in our system at least we do not process the and we not per, uh, create any new message until now. So maybe we can reuse this code. But one issue here is that uh, the thread is different. The thread is different. So because this. The, although the structure is the same, but for this, for this call, because the, it this is server, the server cannot forward any message, in, cannot forward any incoming message to, in, to any other other node. So this one, uh, we need to make some changes to this thread. So um, okay, let us uh, program a new one. Uh, maybe this one can be used at the back end, right? It's not good for the not proper for the business logic the middle tier so we, i'm sorry I, I, we can need to continue to program this one okay Next, uh, the thread should be changed. So before we do that, I think this this code is important because the server, the thread should, the thread should forward the message to the back end tier. But to do that, we need to have the peer right we need to try to use a peer to do that so if a peer is not available it's impossible for us to finish the forwarding call so peer we create a peer mm, okay just name it peer Uh, what else do we need to mm, man? Mm, no, I don't want to program this code to save time. I just want to save time. So this one is uh, ignored in our class. This class is necessary for practical system, but because we have no so much time, so for this class, I just ignore the management, the server management issue. Okay, this is singleton. Stop. Okay, this is stop. We can copy paste. Then remove this this line. We do not have management dispatcher. Okay, next it's long code. Okay, copy it. Uh, this is the pawn number. The pawn number should be update because we just set a new pawn number three tier config 
middle part number, right? If the part number is incorrect, it's uh, it's is it impossible for such a system to be connected? Okay. Then remove these lines. Okay. Now you, you must pay attention to here. For such a system, we do not need to create a register server. Uh, this is the same as this one. So, because only three nodes existing in such a system, one, uh, the computer resources is the middle tier and the back end tier. But for such two tiers, each tier contains only unique distributed node. Only two computers are available for such a system to provide the services. So all the information, the IP address is already defined here. So it's not necessary for us to create a register server. Uh, in short, when your system is small, when the scale of your system is small, it's not necessary for you to create a registry server. Okay, it's possible for you. In this case, it's uh, you are allowed to set up this attribute as false. Uh, but it's not a uh, raw solution. Uh, and uh, when you you when you create in most time when in most time the this one this value should be true that then it, when your server when your peer is started and necessary to connect it with the register server but for this case yeah it's simple so we just need to ignore such a, such a value okay we just uh, set it as false so the server the peer the server code is almost done but we you must remember that we still have need to do something here this is the client code for this peer okay we also need to change this one Back an IP. Back end part. What about the message? <clears throat> the message is a notification. We can please use please order. Order. We just reuse this notification. We do not need to uh, use some we, we, because it is set until now. Until now, we do not create any new message. We, I just want to reuse this message. Let me take a look at the message. Okay. The parameter. Parameter is a client name. Book name. This is the e-commerce system to for books. Book count and payment. Okay, so we just use this parameter to initialize this message. Okay, it's done. So what else? What else here? Here, this one, right? This is for notification. We also need to send request to the back end tier. Okay. So here, but different from that, this is a the message is a merchandise. Merchandise. Let's pass. Pay attention to the one you imported. 
Okay, this one, okay. This is another one. This that request. Okay, import it. A lot of us class have the same name. Okay. So we finish this one. Finish this one. So this peer, this is a peer we we program. Okay. This is this code. This one, this one, this method stop and this is star method it used to it used to initialize the server side of the peer. And this one, this code. Uh, is to use uh, the APIs, the, the message to send a message, to forward message. It look, it's a, the, this code structure is the exact same as the client. This code structure here is the exact same as the server side, right? And maybe this code here is used to initialize the here, from here, this code is used to initialize the client side in uh, of the peer. Okay, so okay, next time, next time, let us we can program this one dispatcher, right? After message is received, the middle tier uh, will forward the message to the back end tier. This uh, middle tier is a bit bit logic and process something. Because our code is simple, so I do not need to spend much time on the up, up, uh, application level. Uh, just a forward message to the backend tier. The backend tier in our case is database. So maybe some data is retrieved and, uh, and updated, and then the response is generated. So, it, so the response is sent to the middle tier. The middle tier then responds this, uh, send this message to the front tier. The client, right? Okay, so we need to work on this one. If you have no idea how to do that, you can you can still follow this uh, example. Okay, this example. Coordinator dispatcher. Uh, okay, first we need to process a notification. <clears throat> Create such a thread. Please order notification. Please order notification thread. This is the queue, notification queue. This notification is uh, please order notification imported. Keep, oh, this, is, this one, in the, the constructor need to be generated. That's easy, right? We have programmed such code for many time. Okay, next. You can make a copy here. Paste it here. Then what else? Copy it here. Paste. Okay, next. It's a check cache.
then here this notification should be for through this interface okay mm, okay find it better mm, actually we to simplify the code actually we don't need to mm, create a new one it saves us out uh, save some of uh, effort so we can review this code Okay, we just forward the same notification to the to the back end here. Okay, so the code looks simple. So here, just remove this this one, this code. Okay, that's good. Okay, next. After that, we can dispose such a message. It's a message is forwarded. Okay, the code is done. Just uh, maybe we need to print something. Uh, actually, when the message in pra uh, practice. In practical system, maybe we need to do something here. We need to perform some business logic and interact with uh, the client uh, uh, to process such incoming message in here, uh, in this line. But for this case, we just uh, print the something here. The Plan name the book name book count and the payment. <coughs> okay. something here please order notification is uh, is uh, forwarded okay okay this code is done and uh, we need to create a cr creator, creator, creator void. Please order notification. Right. Import this message as what I have done before. Generate the method and create this instance of the method. Change 
changing the name. Okay, next, next. Uh, we need to create another one. Request, okay, request. We need to create thread to process the request. This thread is named merchandise request thread, okay. Uh, maybe we can copy this code to make it easy, right? This is exactly the, almost exactly the same. Only the the difference is that code can be should the message should be forwarded in our case. Okay, so we can copy all the code to save time. Okay, so here the message is not generated. If you have no idea how to perform forwarding, you can refer to this code. Okay, next, we need to forward with this query. Okay, so we have such code here. So this time for us to save time, we can also do the same thing. So we do not need to create another instance. Okay. Just send this query, right? The query is a request. That's different from here. So for this one, an instance, a new instance should be created. Actually, that is not necessary. So for this, for our case, we can use a simple approach to forward the message. Okay, so here, maybe we need to um, print something. from plan. Get book. Okay. Let me take a look at the book. Uh, the book. Mm. Book is string. Okay, it's easy. Okay. Book is string. Yeah, the book just a string, so it's easy to handle that. Okay. Next, we need to send the response. We need to get the response to through query. So this send this query to to the back end. Okay, next. Do the back end. We need the check cache should be processed. Maybe here. Okay, check cache. So the response is obtained. So, database. The back end, in our case, is the database. Mm, the book. 
this book should be a uh, should be a class. I'm not sure whether it uh, can be printed or not. Okay, let me take a look at the class. Whether it's no. Okay, it's better for us to design to stream for such a book, so we can print it. Also, and the price. Okay, then the book can be print. Can use print directory. Next. Okay, next, what should I do? Remove this line. So the middle tier is uh, almost done. Other code is almost the same. Okay. Creator, creator, merchandise. Let us take a look at this code. And uh, this one. We want to. I want to make some copy paste. The line is long. I don't want to type. Write it different. Message is same. Okay, next. Okay. I want to change the name. Almost finished the call. Now we need to work on the dispatcher. Dispatcher, all the thread are finished. Let's copy them. But the thread, the creator are different. Right? Okay, just remove them. That's fine. Copy this call. Copy this code. And then we need to implement the dispose method. Timeout. And keep cop copy. Keep copying the code here. Paste. Okay. <clears throat> Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Okay, server side almost done. Uh, not server side, the middle tier side is almost done. Almost done. Okay, now we need to finish the star. Star, star, star. Okay, okay. Maybe this one. I want to make uh, mm, copy paste. 
it doesn't matter it's just it's easy right it's easy to program the code business logic Okay, now the middle tier finished. Middle tier is finished. Middle tier is finished. Mm. So what we we need to program the back end tier. The front tier is also finished. Now we need to work on this one. DB, right? DB. We need to work on this one. DB, I hope maybe we can reuse the reuse this code. Let me say whether we can reuse. TNCS code. TNCS is uh when we program the TNCS code, it's a e-commerce system. And uh this is a server side. I think we can reuse it. The Intel call. Let me try. Okay, reuse it. It saved us a lot of effort, right? Then this server. Maybe we can change the name. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Okay, now the pod should be changed. Back and tier pod. Okay, okay, other parameters are correct. Our server says server and reply. Okay. Okay, I think it's fine. So now I think I fin I already finished the code. I already finished the code. It's time for us to run this system. It's time for us to run this system. So, um, okay. And uh, you can say, we just change the middle tier. We just change the middle tier, right? We just program some uh, with the peer and uh, update the thread so that the data can be forwarded. And uh, the for the for the front and for the for the front tier and for the back end tier, we just reuse. We just reuse the old code. Just make a copy paste, so it saves us a lot of effort. I do not create any message in our case. Okay, so very simple. So next, I need to run this call, but I need to set up my server. <coughs> so <coughs> I'm sorry, just wait. I need to set up the server. I forget start my server before this class. Okay, I'm now the survey started. Just a wait for a while, so I need to deploy the code first. Okay, so the code is here. Window show right. This is all the source code. Okay, let me check the IP address of the server. IP address. My server is a Ubuntu server, so I need to check the IP address because it's just started. Okay. 
is uh, seven. One, nine, two, one, six, eight, zero, one, seven. Okay. Remove this one. Okay, I'm going to copy all the code here. Next, make a package and the forward this one to the server. I just started here. Okay, next, what I should do here? And then we just need to deploy this code. Access the server. Win. Okay, study. Make a new directory. We, we can call it uh, three tier e commerce. Okay. And then we need to create a package, uh, uh, not package, the end project. We can make a copy from the P2P fail. I create a package last time. Okay. Mm, right here. You can rename it. Mm, maybe this one is uh, business logic. Okay. We can make a copy. For this one again, and it's a front. Okay, the database. Okay, <coughs> <coughs> then we first deploy this code. Base. This code should be also be updated. The business logic. Okay, all the code are deployed. Now we can start. We can start me start from here. This is three terminal here. This one, this one, this one. Okay. First, we need to if we need to start a server, we need to update the build first. Build this one is a three tier, and then. In this logic, start business logic. Okay, it should be fine. Let me check. Not this one. Start business logic. Right. Start business logic. E-commerce. Oh, something wrong here. That should be fine. Okay, next, what about this one? Sign in.
Three pace, fine. <coughs> that means the back end here we do not make any uh, any change, we just reuse. So let me check. Let me check. What's the name of the back end tier? It should start business server, right? Right? Start server, start server. So it here, e-commerce. DB server. Okay. Remove this dot. Okay. Next. The front. We do not change the front as well. Just the IP address or update. It's a three tier e -com. and the front star. I'm not sure what's the name. Star clan. Star clan. Okay, everything is fine. Let me run this server first. Uh, let me compile. Okay, start it. Okay, coordinator is call con it doesn't matter. The promotion message is not promote message is not changed. Okay, the back end tier starting bin is server bin is server start starting up. Let me check whether it's correct or not. Okay, and uh, I think one message should be put here, right? And that matter. So after service started, it's better for us to print something on the screen. Okay, that's fine. No, no, no problem. Okay. And uh, then we can start from the client. Wait, am I wrong? Wrong it. Okay, the query is received. Okay, what's wrong? What's wrong with it? The query is not sent to the back end, right? Let me check. There's still some problems. The request is the request is received by the middle tier. Uh, okay, but the back end does not receive it. Let me check. What's the problem? Let me check why it's not received by the back end.
because I program without any preparation before this class, so it's possible for us to get some problem. So maybe the IP address is do something wrong with the IP address. Okay. Let me check here. And it's logic. Oh, the IP address it is not correct. You see here? I forget to change this one. That an IP. That's a problem. But in port. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, let us uh, run the system again. Okay. I forget to change here. Okay, let, let us do, do that again. Remove the code. Copy all the code here and uh, make a package send to the server. Okay, then we have to stop it. Stop the system. Stop. Okay. Update the call. Actually, it's not only necessary for us to update the middle tier because I just changed the middle tier. Other tier have no any change, but uh, I, this is my my convention. I want to. Update all the packages in such a project uh, after all the source code. So now let us run this system again. Okay. Okay. The message is updated, right? Okay. Let us see. This time, what happened? Okay, everything is fine. First, the client send the, the request, merchandise request to the middle tier, and then it forwarded to the back end tier. The gen response is generated. You can see the answer from database. Something print here, right? And then the response is displayed here. This is a book called Java, and uh, some relevant information is displayed. And then the order is placed. This is notification, right? This, uh, this notification is displayed here. And uh, then it forwarded, the meta notification forwarded to the backend tier. The backend tier print this notification. Maybe because the database, some data should be updated. For that, okay, and uh, so we can close this clan. Now one issue is uh, still left because of these two server, the middle tier and the back end tier, is not stopped correctly. So you actually you need to send a message to the server to stop it. We have seen such a problem before. It's, I think it should be easy, right? You need to create a shutdown message to. Uh, to such two server and uh, close it. And uh, I think you can do that by yourself. Okay, that's all for today. If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, thank you so much. See you next time.